So here's the example. We need to find the double integral of x across the omega domain, where omega domain is this first quadrant of a unit of circle. So this is the xy plane. In principle, you can do this directly again. You can do this by Fubini, and this time probably it won't be that hard. If you do this by Fubini, this omega domain, it is a both y simple and x simple. If I use the y simple approach, this is the direct integral which represents this original i integral. My left bounding line is x equal naught. My right bounding line is x equal one. Lower bounding function zero. Upper bounding function one take x square under the square root. That's the Fubini according to repetition. It's a repetition according to Fubini. <laughs> It's a repetition according to Fubini's theorem. The inner integral here, it's with respect to the y. x is a constant in this regard. We need to write a constant is just the length of the integral, as left length of the interval. So actually, this one comes into something like this. And in fact, this is finishable with the first year stuff. If you're good with the first year stuff, you can finish this integral analytically. Can you? What would be the next step if you look at the integral like this from the first year? What would you need to do next? Yes, I? So, yes, but what do what you need to substitute? Huh? Simple? What? Sine theta. Yes, probably trigonometric substitution will, will, will be the best choice here. If you use a trigonometric substitution, in principle, you can finish this evaluation. One minus x squared. Ah, yes, you can actually. Yeah, that's sorry. So it, it's, this is an be even better choice. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. You can. My apologies. Somehow I just set myself for the trigonometric substitution. But you're right. We can do it in one take x squared. So after all, it doesn't look it's really good example for the double for the double double, double variable second two variable substitution, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, we still can do it via substitution of the in the in the on the plane with, for the function of two variables. And for this domain, because of the circular region, the natural choice for substitution will be polar substitution. Under such substitution, my quadrant, my yeah, wedge, it will go into the upright rectangle. Uh, if this is the theta axis, and this is, this is one, this is r axis. This is upright rectangle of this sizing. We call it r. The image or pre-image, the pre-image, as a matter of fact, of this quadrant of a, uh, of a disk, quarter of a disk, it will be this upright rectangle. So for Fubini purposes, it's a very good choice of a domain. All we need to do, we need to now make a substitution. And in case of polar substitution, so what happens? I replace my x with what, with what x is in terms of my new variables. Then I have to put the Jacobian in here. But the Jacobian for the polar, we computed with you a few times already. And it's something I suggest you remember, because it's, it's a very easy to remember. Jacobian for the polar is r. Jacobian for the polar is just simply r value, which means your polar substitution is invertible everywhere except the origin, where r is 0. We computed the Jacobian a few times with you before. So my integral becomes this one. And that's another example of purely factorizable double integral, because the domain here is upright rectangle, and the function is factorizable in pure r and pure theta terms. Which means by Fubini, this integral, double integral, is a product of two individual integrals, individual one-dimensional integrals, pure product. And now I have to do first-year stuff in this factor and first-year stuff in this factor. And here it is. So for the first integral, antiderivative is r cubed by 3, double substitution 0, 1. For the second one, sine theta, 0, pi on 2, which is this value. And that's the end of it. Any questions?
For the polar substitution, Jacobian, it's something to remember. It's, it's better to remember it rather than computing it every time. And it's very simple. It's R. Yes. I, uh, I realized this, yes, that actually, I, I, I realized this, I was about to fix this, but then something took my mind off it. Yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to put the vertical lines around this to indicate this is determinant rather than the matrix itself. Thank you.